Okay, what I have here is three containers. I'm going to line them up on the floor. The little one in the front is a tumbler about 16 ounces, hold 16 ounces. The one on the left is a 32 ouncer. And the one on the right in the back is a half gallon. And uh, the two back ones are about equal height if you just look at the stainless steel part, not the actual tops. But anyhow, I'm going to line them up on the floor. The tumbler will be closest to me. This 32 ouncer will be further back, and the half gallon one will be just slightly further back from the 32 ouncer. Now I used an app called Level Camera. So what you have here is the eye level or the lens level of the camera going across and you can see I have the horizontal and the vertical both zeroed out. The 32 ouncer is maybe seven or eight feet back and the half gallon one is maybe another foot behind it and I didn't measure any of them because it's not even the point. What we have here is a couple things that I want people to pay attention to. Now that 32 ouncer, when they were all right next to each other, was about twice the height of the tumbler. Now as you can see, it didn't take much distance to cut that way down. And it looks lower in your field of view. But it's not. If I would have took the picture from the top of the tumbler, you would see the 32 ouncer above it. But here we have perspective, which of course Globies never want to acknowledge. They want to pretend it doesn't exist. Because they can't explain things in the distance getting smaller. So here we have the other thing I want to point out is the eye level or the lens level. This is that line across. So what you notice is it looks high up on the tumbler. And, uh, but as you can see, it looks low on the half gallon container and on the 32 ouncer. Of course, it's actually the same height on those because it's the eye level. That's how eye level works in the distance. It converges towards center frame. And as you can see, I have center frame all mapped out on here. Zero degrees vertical, zero degrees horizontal. The camera is perfectly set up to demonstrate what perspective does. This is all that goes on in things like Miles Davis, um, and of course Ranty and his latest stupidity on why the mountains appear lower than Blackpool Tower. Well, this is why. And this is what none of them demonstrated in their videos or their pictures. They don't show the horizontal line, the fold line, whatever you want to call it, the vanishing point. Now if I took this little tumbler in the front and just slid it along, the line would be in the same part of the thing, but it would be squished smaller than it looks right now in the front. It would be half the size, if I put it all the way next to the 32 ouncer, it would be half the size of the 32 ouncer. Now if I took those and kept sliding them further, which I didn't have enough room, but if I did, I kept sliding them further, that floor would keep ramping up towards that point. 
where you see the horizontal line across. And that space between the horizontal line and the floor would disappear or become unresolvable. And of course, Globies would say, it's beyond the curvature. That's why you can't see it. When really it's just angular compression. And then Rayleigh criterion, because that portion would become too small in angular size and that space would not have enough angular separation to identify it as separate from the floor line. Simple perspective. This stuff is easy. Globies are ridiculous.